From the World Dairy Expo Marketplace here at the Alliant Energy Center Expo Hall, it's the fabulous farm babe. I'm in my home stretch of World Dairy Expo coverage for you here, but I'm going out with uh, an exclamation point. I love being with my friends from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. You know, I'm a dairy kid myself. I remember back when the checkoff, per se, started in Wisconsin, and now to look at what we've accomplished through the dairy checkoff with our Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board staff. Marty Pullins, one of those staff members, along with us here in the Marketplace at World Dairy Expo. And your job, buddy is to bring our message from our Wisconsin dairy farmers, our cheese makers, to those retailers and get them to open their eyes about the opportunity Wisconsin cheese can provide for them. How do you do it? Well, you know, we go out and we work with the different retailers, the food service operators. We work with the distributors, the wholesalers, you know, and we can't forget about the, uh, the, the third leg of the stool, obviously, is our cheesemakers, yeah. you know, and they're a big integral part in that as well, you know. So they, they constantly are bringing new cheeses to market, and, uh, you know, the artisan cheese movement in this country, in the state of Wisconsin, yeah. has grown. You know, we now account for 49% of all specialty cheese in the United States. So that gives us an edge there, you know. We do make a lot of other cheeses outside of the specialty sure. market too, but yeah. uh, you know, we've given ourselves a real edge in that area. So then the average consumer is going to say, "Ah, we beat them all. We beat them all." You know, it takes a lot of time to build those relationships, and once you get a product in, we want you to get more product in, and that's kind of an evolutionary process too. Well, it never stops. You know, we have to constantly introduce you know those folks to new products and there's a lot of different ways we do that you know um, I joke sometimes I, we're sort of that uh, e-harmony of the dairy industry and so <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble for using that term but so you know someone might come to me and they might say you know Marty we're looking for a particular product and I can use our database and I can find those products for that for that you know particular retailer distributor whomever it might be and that's an opportunity for our cheese makers to then turn around and work with those uh, those folks and getting new products in place and it's not just about a chunk of cheese going on a shelf you've got staff members at Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board that are graduates of the Culinary Institute of America that will help you with ideas yeah, I mean, especially in the food service side of the business, you know, you have to be, you know, food service is challenging enough as it is, you know, for operators, and they need to be coming to market with, you know, new ideas every day, yeah. and I think that our culinary staff really helps and aids in that. Education is a big part of what they do, but educating food service, educating retailers, educating everyone, yeah. you know, I learn something new every day, don't right. we all? Me too. And yeah. So they, they're, they're able to go out into the market and offer these folks um, the new ideas that are out there. And I think that's really important. You seeing any interesting tr trends, Marty, that might surprise some of our consumers? Any, any area that used to be like infusion and then it was kind of the, uh, the Hispanic, sriracha kind of things? Are you seeing any trends? Well, flavored cheeses are still very popular. Yeah. You know, so flavored cheddars, flavored yep. jacks, all of those kinds of things. Flavored cheese is still very hot. You know, uh, people want flavor. They want robust flavors. They want new flavors. You know, think of cumin and fenugreek and all these things that are now out in the market. It's not just about spice anymore. Mm -hmm. It's about some very interesting things. I saw recently, and I I didn't even know it was on the market, but I saw it at a local um, retailer here in Madison. It was farmers with basil. It had whole leaves of basil oh, really? inside of a farmer's cheese. And I, I tried it, and I thought, wow, this takes farmer's cheese to a new level. Huh. So. And we were talking about, yes, Wisconsin eats its fair share of cheese, but you really work across the United States. Do you do anything internationally, or we concentrate primarily domestically? We concentrate domestically, you know, but that doesn't mean that our uh, manufacturers right. here in the state aren't doing things, you know, internationally. Right. Oh, yeah. um, so, you know, the average consumer consumes 30 three and a half pounds of cheese in the United States you know that number is going to continue to rise yep. it, it has you know increased significantly in, right. in the years past um, you know internationally um, we are seeing exports are up uh, the United States is now the largest exporter of cheese yeah. beating our European counterparts so that speaks volumes about it but in addition to that we continue to win the awards yeah. you know so you know at all the different award ceremonies that we're we you know our cheese makers participate in they're winning. They're beating their European counterparts in many situations. It's hard to wipe the smile off my face when he <laughs> talks like that because I know it's like it's like the Packers. Yeah. Uh, if I'm a retailer, maybe I'm a small restaurant or I'm a small uh, hometown grocery store, and I'm thinking to myself, geez, I didn't know this guy existed. I didn't know the Milk Marketing Board cared about me. 
is there a website or is there a way that we can kind of get them a little more information, Marty, if not a visit from you? We have a retail website. We have a food service website. They're dedicated specifically to those audiences because obviously there are some differences between them. Right. Eat Wisconsin Cheese is our primary consumer site. You can get to all of our microsites um, through eatwisconsincheese.com, and it'll direct you. We have eight regional marketing managers in the United States that are strategically located throughout the country that will work in different regions that can provide those retailers yeah. with support uh, with their Wisconsin identified cheeses. Outstanding. See, now you know where your dairy checkoff dollars are going. Good guys like Marty Pullen out there raising the flag for Wisconsin cheese, cheesemakers, and our dairy farm families. I love it. This is a great way for me to spend my Friday afternoon at World Dairy Expo. How about you? Come on out. We are in the marketplace of the Alliant Energy Center Expo Hall. We welcome you to the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board location. From World Dairy Expo 2015, I'm Farm Director Pam Yonke.